Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you for being with me again today. We have some developments in the Black Sea and the developments are due to the Russians bringing some landing ships uh, ready for uh, probably a landing. <laughs> we'll find out in a minute what the intention might be. But if you bring uh, landing ships in a port, I think that's why you bring them for, right? To get ready for something, some action during the, a war or whatever it's over there. This uh, article, I have it from uh, Ukrainska Pravda from June 4th, 2022. Russia brings five large landing ships into Black Sea. So not two, five. All right, so see here what's going on. A flotilla of five large landing ships gathered from the Russian Navy, three fleets, three fleets, oh my God, has now parted for the Black Sea. Details. There are four large landing ships moored in the South Bay, the largest branch of Sevastopol Bay, near the Minastinka Wharf. The two ships pictured in the foreground are, there's a picture here obviously, are the Project 1171 Tapir landing ships, the Black Sea Fleet, has three such vessels, one of which, the Saratov, was destroyed by a Ukrainian missile in the port of Berdyansk. The other two are the Orsk and the Nikolai Filchentov. There are also two Project 775 large landing ships uh, berthed at the Minas Stinka Wharf. The Black Sea Fleet has four such ships, the Tsar Kunikov, the Novocherkask, the Yamal and the Azov. All right, so two of them are currently under repair, uh, but they will be obviously repaired for something just to what uh, used for uh, water skiing. Nevertheless, it says here that according to uh, the Southern Operational Command, there are now three missile launching ships and one submarine in the Black Sea, in addition to the five large landing ships. Uh, Russia has put two-thirds of its submarines out to sea, each carrying missiles. So that means they mean business. Well, I don't know, um, they didn't, uh, the Ukrainians did not inform us yet what are the Russians' plan, but if you bring uh, uh, landing ships, uh, could be used for landing. <laughs> so nevertheless, what's going to be? Is going to be Odessa? What's going to be? It's going to be the southeastern part of Ukraine or southern part of Ukraine. Uh, by the by Romania by Moldova that area um, I don't see any other uh, other location right I can't tell you what the plans are because I don't like to go with uh, uh, they say oh I think is this and then they say oh I think is this I come here and say it and then I look like an uh, you know tomorrow uh, when they say no actually it was this one I mean yeah it, it inflames imaginations and make makes people think and so on but I really don't like to come the next day and say, oh, actually, it was, uh, pff, um, uh, I don't like that. So, nevertheless, the fact is that they will have five landing ships over there. They have submarines with missiles in the Black Sea. Uh, so that means they're armed and ready. And um, they mean business. I don't know what Ukrainians have. And I don't know what other, uh, other submarines of, let's say, other countries are in the Black Sea. What are they doing? Monitoring and... Uh, I do not know exactly how close the, to the you know hostilities or to the war zone they could be, ought to be, should be, are. We'll find out. Well, thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.